All right, it's having an effect on him. Oh, here we go. Oh. So I have here SCP-096. And next to him, I have Class D personnel waiting to be tested on. But before we begin, make sure to like this video as it really helps out the channel. And also click that subscribe button if you do want to see some more people playground. Anyway, before we get started with the SCP-096 experiment, I want to see what this is like up here. So we have a doctor. He's oh, going to sure. be in charge of this operation. And this guy, well, he has a syringe gun. Now, this gun in particular should actually inflate their head. And uh, yeah, I've not really tried this before. There's a bunch of these guns we can try out today. But let's just see what happens, shall we? Okay, this guy is shackled down, so he has no choice in this. Right, here we go. And fire! Oh! The syringe just went right through him. What? Okay, try this again. Maybe you have to aim for the head. Let's try this. What? Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, look at his head. Yes, it's increasing. Whoa. Oh, what the? His head's just gone. It's turned into a balloon. Oh, that's messed up. Well, I think that experiment was a complete success. We have a lot of experiments to go through today. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is actually hook up a cable here to this guy. So that way... We can keep an eye on his, uh, his heart rate. There we go. He's tied down. He's probably terrified right now, but he's doing okay. And I don't think we necessarily need to hook up the heart rate monitor to SCP-096. However, you may also notice that he has some eyewear on. Now, usually you put over like a bag over his head so he can't see you and you can't see him. But we just decided to use these goggles right here. And this guy's also wearing goggles. Not that it's really going to help him out. Just as long as they don't look into his eyes, we should be okay to do these experiments. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is drain his blood. So we are now extracting the blood of SCP-096, also known as Shy Guy. I have no idea what's going to happen. Maybe his blood is just the same as every other human in this game. I'm not too sure, but we're going to find out today. So Class D guy, you're in for a bit of a shock here. And that'll do. Right, let's change this to idle. We'll uh, disconnect this cable as well. Don't need that anymore. And now we're going to make a really long cable. I could probably put it into one of these. But instead, we're going to put it straight into this guy right here. Okay, now let's push. Oh, that's straight. Nope, push. Here we go. All right, it's going in. Oh, okay. Beats per minute have been changing a little bit. We're at 68 beats per minute. Okay, maybe it's not really having too much of an effect. Would draining do anything? We'll set this to idle for the time being. So that means we could probably use SCP-096's blood to save someone if we wanted to. All right, they're both full now. Let's go ahead and connect it to this guy's head. Right, now push. What if I just slightly cut off maybe his foot or something? Oh, okay. All right, don't worry because blood is still going into his system. 100, oh, his beats per minute went way up then. Uh-oh, not looking good. Okay, uh... <laughs> This is not good, SCP-096. I don't know. His blood seems to be stabilizing him, maybe. But his leg, well, it, it's going to need patching up or something, right? Uh, does this bag do anything? If I hit him with the bag, it, <laughs> it heals him up a bit, I think. Oh, no. Oh, what's he doing? Is he trying to break out? Hey, put your arm down. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Just stay there and relax, all right? Don't worry about your leg. We'll fix that. Aha, adrenaline. This crossbow might actually help a little bit. Fire. What? What the? Why is that not working? Oh, hey, we got his foot. That'll do. We're going to save you, buddy. Okay. Meat crossbow. I have no idea what this is going to do, but let's just fire it anyway. Fire. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did that do? Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's decaying. Oh. <gasps> Oh, no. Oh, no. He's decaying even more. He keeps decaying. What are we going to do? All right. You know what? It's game over. I'm sorry. We couldn't save you. <laughs> yeah, probably not the best syringe to use. Medic! Medic! Clear! Yeah, he's, he's a goner. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Wait. Hang on a minute. Um, That's not good. Extraction team is here. Just going to remove this. Ready for a new guinea pig. That's it. Let's get this out of there. What the? <laughs> How did that happen? How has he been split in half as well? Right, we're going to have to get a new extraction team at some point. I've got ahead and got another guinea pig right here. But before we do that, I also have 
a Gorsid. Now, in the comment section in my previous videos, you guys have said to me that I should try and do like a blood transfusion between the Gorse and a human. But in this scenario, I reckon what would be better if we use on SCP-096 and see what happens. Now, I already know actually what happens uh, when you do this. Not on SCP-096, though. So uh, let's just do it on, I guess, maybe the guinea pig first and then actually uh, the shy guy. Let's see what happens. So first, connect that there. Let's also check on his heart rate. Okay, and then pull. Pull that out. So once this is, I would say, yeah, I'll, I'll make it full. Get a full tank. And then we're going to go ahead and make a blood transfusion into the class D personnel and see what happens. Oh, he's getting weaker. Okay, actually, let's uh, let's stop because we're going to need some more of his blood very soon. Okay, let's disconnect the cable. Don't worry, mate. Just eat a biscuit. You'll be fine. Okay, into class D guy and then push. Here we go. Right, let's see what happens. Is it going in? Is it working? I'm not seeing any activity here. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait, do we have to... Oh, first? Whoa, 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 whoa. His heart rate went really, really far down there. I think it might be going into his system now. I'm not actually too sure. Whoa, he's freaking out. He's freaking out. All right, it's having an effect on him. Oh, here we go. Oh, heart rate's got up and now it's going to zero. One, zero. There we go. He is now dead. So that is what happens when you use gorse blood on a human. So it's basically like the acid is kicking in. And this guy is basically just eroding away i guess um so yeah pretty messed up stuff that is actually the first time i've done that so interesting now let's move on to the other experiment so let's go ahead and do this we'll uh we'll go ahead and pull get as much blood out of him as possible and who knows maybe this is the end of shy guy maybe we'll finally be able to take him out once and for all oh and the gorse is now dead we've drained too much blood out of its system. Okay, detach that. And let's go ahead, connect it up and see what happens. All right, let's check on your heart rate, shall we? Oh, do you even have a heart rate? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's working. I need to get used to uh, <laughs> doing all these blood experiments. Okay, now, if we set it to idle, is that how we get it to go in? But idle just means nothing. So I don't know why that would work. So let's try... Should be push, right? Come on. All right, nothing so far seems to be happening, but what I'm going to do instead is get another gorse in. Right, give me your blood. Why is his leg racing up like that? It's kind of terrifying. Oh, look at it filling up. Whoa, it's so dark. It's turned brown. What? Wait, am I? Oh, I've also got it connected to him too. Oh, look how brown that is. That's crazy. So it's been mixed up now. I am so confused by this. What is going on? But I have to say, it doesn't seem like it has an effect. On the shy guy right now. Another gorse. We need more blood. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And let's change it to push. And let's try this again. It doesn't seem to work though, as you can see. It doesn't seem like any blood is being transmitted into the shy guy here, which I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's just all topped up with blood. So let's just go ahead and drain these, I guess. Get rid of all the blood in those tanks. Aha, there we go. Okay, it's going down. It looks like some of it's going into his system, maybe. Whoa, look at his heart rate. His heart rate is going all over the place right now. Switching between 69 to 70 beats per minute. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, it's happening. The acid is kicking in from the gorses. Look at that. Oh, no way. Oh, his leg just came off. Are you kidding me? Look at his heart rate. He's not actually dead. How is he not dead? All right, set them all to idle. Idle. Just chill. Seriously, he's still alive? How? Look at him. He's just bones. I literally have a leg. At least I think it's a leg. Maybe it's an arm. I'm not too sure. Look, it's like going in between 70 and 1 beats per minute. So technically, he's still alive. Okay, that is actually crazy. Um, also, what do these syringes up here do? I have no idea. Let's just try and... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa regeneration syringe so maybe we can actually bring him back to life i don't know why you'd want to bring him back to life because he's a very very dangerous scp but that seems to have done the job we have a lot of cleaning up to do but we have another new experiment we have a class d right here he's actually freaking out right now so we're gonna go ahead and tase him there we go right relax stay where you wait hang on a minute oh no no he's landed on the other syringe <laughs> no his head he landed on the inflation head syringe look 
Are you kidding me? No. I wonder if their heads are still up here. Let me go find out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there's the other guy's head. <laughs> That's so weird. They just turn into balloons. All right. He's cooperating. We're good. Continue with the experiment. Here we go. Aim and fire. Ooh. Huh. Nothing actually happened. Let me try another one. Maybe that syringe just didn't work. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to shoot there. I am so sorry about that. There's a chance that this syringe only works when you actually shoot at it. So uh, let's see if this actually does anything. And fire. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, there we go. It's an explosive syringe. And yes, I was right. You actually do have to shoot at it. And look at that. We are now a security member down. Clean up time. Fire! And when I say fire, I really do mean fire. Whoa! There we go. It works. Hooray! Now we don't have to do any cleaning up. We just let them burn. Uh, that's kind of messed up. Okay, there we go. So yeah. Oh no, I'm on fire as well. It's all gone bad. Oh no, everyone's on fire. Great. You know what? They deserve that anyway because they're all messed up. And, you know, they test on real people. So they deserve to burn. Oh wow, this is this is really gone bad. Everyone is on fire. All from firing a couple of syringes. Are you kidding me? Look at the absolute mess we've made. We only have one survivor, which is this guy right here. However, if this gorse is still alive, there's a good chance he will... Oh, never mind. The gorse is on fire as well now. Oh, SCP-096. On... Okay, I spoke too soon. He is now burning alongside with everyone else. This is the biggest testing disaster ever. Everyone has now died. Everyone is on fire. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this to happen at all. I can't believe this. Quick, put the fire out. Put it out. Oh, is, is he still alive? Yeah, he made it. I have no idea how, though. And there we go. Fire has been neutralized. Oh, maybe that... Oh, that's how he survived. I think he fell back into these syringes here. And that's what kept him alive. Okay, so I just triggered a grenade that now has made him glow. He is now glowing like crazy. <laughs> As always, let's nuke the facility. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why, but I just love to nuke stuff. Let me know what other experiments you want me to do taxi! in future videos. And oh, that's a taxi. But there is another video on the top right. So make sure to go ahead and click that. Also make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye.